my customers uh, had a gentleman give me a call. He said his AC unit wasn't working. If you listen very carefully, you hear the fan running. You see it running. So automatically I know it's nothing to do with the condenser motor. But as I take the door off and look at the thing on the right, that is a capacitor. That's a combination capacitor, compressor, and fan motor. Also, see in the little white box up here, you have a little kick start. It's already been hooked in as an additional capacitor. The contactor is pulled in. See that? Down here you see a sequence. I will say that's kind of an unusual thing to see on a condenser. Somebody has wired it up with some ingenuity. I have to give them credit there. But here's the culprit. It's the kick start on the unit. So the kickstart will have to be replaced. And as you look to the left, that's a time delay. So what we're doing here, we're actually just reviewing the different components of the average condenser. You have there on the left hand side on the bottom, that is a time delay. You just set it five minutes. You have a kickstart, which is what we use on train condensers and American Standard in this case. That actually is a heat sequencer. You normally find that into an air handler, but we're just talking about normal clutch or parts. That is a combination capacitor. It starts the compressor and the fan. To the center there, that is a contactor. That's a 30 amp double pole, double throw contactor. And then at the top there, that is another capacitor that is tied into a fan relay. Give us a call if you have any questions at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, 239-596-5855.